Pirates in charge. I believe we can manipulate and take advantage of their relationships to bring us closer to the head of the Syndicate. And I have made this chart to keep track of all the details. I believe you will find it useful. The Trail Hub. Uh, interrogate Syndicate members to gain intelligence about their division safe house. When the bar hits 100%, raid that safe house. Syndicate member you don't have an encounter yet? Most. Uh, members of the same division? Uh, members that trust each other and members that hate each other. So you see these uh, ye yellow strings. So uh, this guy is in the same group as this one. And same as this one. Um, the relationships of members in an, uh, in an encounter affect available options. Sergeant, which is a star, this guy. Lieutenant or Captain, higher ranked members are more rewarding but more dangerous. Uh, then it says, you know, different items. Uh, helmet, boots, back, or a weapon. Items convey special abilities and make the fights more difficult. So... They're in for the Sergeant, they're in fortification. Um, and there's no reference to items there. We must decide what we will do with our captive. What you choose to do will impact our ability to investigate further. Talk to our captive. I will watch your back. Alright. Now, I'm no clipe, but sometimes talking is better than, you know, dying. So just give little Guff a chance to jabber, and I guarantee that you will learn a thing or two. Uh, interrogate, or bargain. Um... So, if we interrogate him, Guff is in prison for three turns, plus three fortification inte uh, intelligence per turn, minus one rank on release. Or, plus six fortification intelligence with bargain, and that's it. He gains no ranks, he loses no ranks, Guff stays as Guff, and we get six. So, either we get nine, and he stops being a sergeant, or we get six. So there could be benefit in keeping him as a sergeant. There, like, again, there's manipulation in this. Like, if you kill, like, if you get the option to kill someone, that will drive him up in rank, which can be, you, you know, used and benefited. Oh, okay. Not sure. Oh yeah, that was just a dialogue. You know. There can be ways to benefit of driving someone up a rank. There can also be ways of benefit benefiting from driving them down a rank. Uh, maybe so your favored one can go up. You know? There's, you know, d different ways you can play things. So... I'm going to go with interrogate because... Well, I've, you know, he's the only one we have. You know? There's... I know, I feel like, since I can't, re you know, I really plot, like, you know, who to use him, um, you know, I, I can't, I can't really conspire against any of the others yet, you know? So I'm just figuring the more intelligence is probably the better thing, you know? I'm a talker, yes. But you will have to get me drunk first. Okay, probably uh, that that was annoying, but whatever. We'll get to see them porting out another time. Sorry. Kind of got carried away. I was like, ah, passive. This is nice. Ah, it's a two-hander. Ooh, and there's also this. If I go and sell that, I'll get a color orb. Because it's one of each color. Well, 
one of each of the three main colors. There is the white uh, slots. Uh, they do exist. But it's the three, you know, primary ones. And they're linked. So that's a guaranteed color thing if you saw it. They have to be linked. Them just being on it is not nearly enough. Sadly. So I could grab that, that is a better weapon, and I could keep the shield. Not really sure right now what, uh, what, if she'll be a two-hander, uh, one-handed, uh, you know, sword and board, or two-hander. I'm thinking, uh, based on my issue in with the other guy, was his lack of survivability. That did actually come down to him not having enough life, and needed more percentage and all that. But I, I'm thinking for to play more defensively, because that was where I was struggling. I think I'll go for the shield. We go sword and board, make her kind of tanky. So, yeah. So I think we'll go with this. Ooh, increased physical damage, 12 to dexterity, 15 accuracy. Okay, I'm actually going to have to stop for one moment, BRB. Hello, 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 folks, and I'm back. Oh, uh, just to talk about Hillock for a moment there. Um, she called him a blacksmith. He, well, um, when he was alive, he was a blacksmith, I think, in Oriot. He was a large man, as you saw. I don't, I'm remembering, like, bits in here of the, uh, like, there's a, on the wiki, there's, like, two story, back stories to H H Hillock. I was going to call him Hitler there for a moment. Uh, Hillock, there's two backstories. Um, I, I'm, I'm remembering the one off the wiki, and I'm not sure which one is the right one, the, like, the most recent one. But the, uh, in the wiki story, uh, he, uh, I can't remember, I think he was quiet, but he used to drink heavily. And, like, one day someone really pissed him off while he was drinking. I can't remember what they said or did, but I believe he murdered them on the spot, then went to his back to his forge. No one dared go near the guy. Out he comes from the forge, a new weapon for uh, comes from the forge, a new weapon for a uh, new weapon made, and that weapon was some like huge sword. Which you started butchering people with. Um, I think it was like they like when he was asleep or something. Uh, uh, survivors or whatever gathered together, and he uh, invaded his house. The strongest of them used the, his, the, his very creation to butcher him. They tossed his body into the sea and washed up here in Raycost, where he tormented exiles ever since. Till we butchered him. Um, there's, yeah, like, it's, it's, you know, a better, you know, <clears throat> if you're interested in that, you're probably better off reading it yourself, because I'm kind of stumbling and tripping over my words. So, you, like, if you're actually interested in the War of Hillock, the, um, yeah, zombie, not Hiller. Uh, then you'll be better off, you know, going and watching or reading the wiki entry because I'm only remembering bits here and there. I could have easily said some incorrect d d uh, information there, easily. So, anyway. Superior wool shoes, quality plus five, and energy shield. Small mana flask. Can I just do it here? No. Increase recovery speed. Nice. Okay, I'm gonna move over here. Use this. Just go sell some, empty my inventory, and go grab the rest. Please don't disconnect. I just realized this could be an issue. Remembered more so. 
Hello. But as you see there, I sold that, sold that, and I got that. Oh, actually, wait. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Cancel. Okay, if I juggle the, these around a little. Goodbye. Spectrum throw there. Golden strike here. Onslaught support there. Mm -hmm. Sell. I could put on these iron greaves. Because they got three slots connected. So, you know, that's that's nice. Even if one is a, a blue. Yeah. Goodbye. There's there's a thing in the game game called vendor recipes. Basically, if you sell very particular things to a vendor, then they will give you very particular things back in exchange. I'll give you give them a thing with six slots all linked. Then they'll give you so you know seven orbs or just six slots on an item. Then they'll give you seven orbs as as a reward. So be it. I will take them to a secret location and extract what information I can about their co-conspirators. Go. I will seek you out again soon. And she can unveil items. I've spent some time around powerful magical objects. There are some whose magical properties are obscured and tangled, trapped and restricted by a curse placed upon it. I cannot restore such items to their original glory, but I can at least break the curse and release some of its power if you bring it to me. And she can do more than just that. If you unveil something, you could, uh, if memory serves, uh, I read a bit about this before I came into it. Basically, the unveiled thing will be added to a pool, and so say if you trade out that veiled uh, the, the veiled buff, um, say if you trade out that uh, veiled item and a satused buff to uh, for a better bit of kit, you can go to her or you know the crafting bench and reapply that veiled buff to the new bit of gear if memory serves. I could be wrong on any of this, so it but it's very nice. Blessings. Far too much baggage. Too used to having the other guy. You know, uh, I'm not a beast of burden. Go with God. here a bit more. And it's all these hot, broken huts and whatnot are new additions that were brought in in Fall of Orient. Uh, because you come back here and these huts aren't broken anymore. As far as I remember that was a Fall of Orient thing. They did do some changes in um, the Fall of Orient expansion to the um, you know the earlier acts to take the Fall of Orient thing into account. So in the, you know, Act 2, on the map you see uh, a pyramid at some stage.
but in uh, uh, Menagerie, it's another one of the challenging things. Uh, in uh, After Fall of Orius, uh, let me start again. There's a pyramid you go into in Act 2, uh, and and in the, back in the day, it, it's, it appeared on the map. But come Fall of Orius, it doesn't appear on the map anymore, but a city that is only relevant in, act, in Part 2. Uh, maybe Act 6? I can't remember what act it is. Um, but when you return to that area, only then you can access the city. But you can see it in Part, like the part, part 1 map was changed to acknowledge the city. And you know, little bits here and there were changed like that. So, let's go and kill off some more enemies. Far too much baggage. Perfect. Here's the um, waypoint. Oh, wait. We have a hideout now? Oh, yes. Another change they brought was that all hi the hideouts have been unified and they're like shared now. They've also all one size to them. Did talk about some of these things in my pre. Ooh, okay, that does look cool. Okay, that. It's kind of weird. Ah, we got to keep the old stuff as uh, decorations. Nice. And now we get to see what this fully upgraded looks like. But back in the um, day, yeah, sorry. Uh, apparently, when you when you, actually, not sure where I was going with this. But uh, apparently, uh, what you're meant to do now is you're meant to when you initially get to hideout, you have to clear it out of enemies. Uh, but this is already cleared out, so we don't have to do that, but who knows, maybe we'll have to do that later on with safe and sound. Yeah, Helena is the, uh, from, you know, a uh, Act 2 has been upgraded to, you know, hideout person. Some of the members we have come across, well, they have come back from the dead. I don't have any better way of putting it. They are no mindless zombies. Somehow, they are returning. Whole. This must be why they call themselves the Immortal Syndicate. Immortality is dangerous, even in the hands of those with good intentions. Mm, true enough. Do I really need a reason? For what reason did you help the sick and dying in Lion Eyes Watch? We do these things because no one else will. We do these things because the world has enough pain in it already. Would you have me sit idly by, watching the few good souls left on this wretched stretch of land fall into the shadows? Creation cannot occur without destruction, nor destruction without creation. Light and darkness, the two must coexist. One cannot be without the other. But forces work to break Rayclass' already precarious balance. And who but us can put it right? Helena looked within herself and chose to turn her back on what she was made to believe, even under fear of death. She is a woman worthy of admiration. Warm Nights. W warm Nights? She doesn't say it quite clearly. Hope was drowned here. So was Bill, Ted, and several other people. Uh, cold, dank, and reeking of infection. 
That's how hope fares in weary quest. But I hoped. I, I thought hope drowned. Yeah, get your story straight. Also, I could think of was the line from Ratchet Gladiator. Cold, dark, dank. Just like my ex-wife. You know, warning kids. D don't do this at home. Do it at a friend's house. Oh, they had such great lines in that game. Whew, here she is. Cool winds. Celerim. Still composing that poem about you, exile? Yes. God hasn't abandoned us. Stop, um, uh, I'm going to sell off the rest of these. Switch these around, because that is better. Stash. Strike and let us head to here. Okay, again, think I'm nearly done for tonight because I am rather tired. I'd like to actually be awake to play this. Wisdom? Ah, yes. I too enjoy, you know, storing paper inside, you know, corpses. head just going <laughs> not really the most descriptive of sound effects but uh, yeah I can already feel my head kind of going woozy <sighs> all right Ooh. like cannibals massive cannibals Operation. And that doesn't seem like I can not be interested in. Alright. Drowned. Okay. Oh, I can't wait till I get dominated in blow. That would be so great. Even if I can't do just you know make an army with uh, with the former enemies uh, you know one thing I've been thinking you know if, if people are eating um, like if these people are cannibalizing um, people when the people you know res it you know on them Move. Didn't even realize this guy was who he was. Like, you know, like they, they eat a guy and, you know, he's there in their gut. Wouldn't, you know. Christ, they're already level 71? Friggin' hell. Uh, you know, wouldn't, you know, rezzing, you know, cause them to. Uh, when they have a case of heartburn. Well, not heartburn, but, you know, indigestion. 
Uh. Just imagine, you know, zombie ingot. You know, it's you know, it's prime location to start eating you up. In you know, the inside. Christ. Yeah, I am gonna call it quits now in a second. My eyes are so so tired. But I should be up soon enough to start recording uh, again. Okay, just, just exploring over here. Okay, let's try this side. And yeah, I'm definitely calling it quits after this finishing here. Playing. But oh, like I said, I'll finish this off and we'll go from there. I learn, I kill, I live. Fantastic. Another level. Um, and thankfully, at least right now, even if I die, I won't lose any XP. That doesn't kick in until uh, part 2 and then gets worse later on in part 2. Thankfully, do not have to worry about that myself. Well, I don't have to worry about it yet. That's the thing. 25.9. Twenty-seven point three. Hmm. So what's this? Increases physical physical damage. Uh, Tenth armor, twenty strength. Creepy, honestly. Ooh, not a weather, weather carving. Calm has removed the eternal stain from this coast. The Empire's citizens decorate our meeting houses with their heads. Our warriors built homes for our families. Our families till the earth, fish the waters, fill the air with song. The Kardui Way is yet a seedling here. But it grows, gains in pride and power every day. Calm has kept his promise. The time of the Karui has come. There was a warning early on in this. Calm has removed the ah, eternal yes, I was gonna, stain. I was, was going to make a crack. You know, Calm has removed the eternal stain. Now you two can remove the eternal stain with with this bottle of cynic cynic bang, bang. And the eternal stain is gone. Yeah. Just wanted to make a crack like that, but it didn't really work, considering he just kept talking. <coughs> My throat's been really sore as of late. I'm not sure why. Uh, continuing on. Airy contains immortal syndicate activity. Yeah, really, every place does apparently does have immortal syndicate activity. It's bizarre. Um, sure. A doctor. Ooh. Okay. Oop, whoops. 
Um, let's grab a few more things. Okay. Um, sure. Like that. And grab that. And through the portal we go. Yeah, I'm going to call this quits here as I am friggin' wrecked. I sincerely hope you've enjoyed this, and I'll be back soon to record more, hopefully when I'm much, much more awake. So, till then, love and peace, baby.